So in, um, in January, I set sail uh, for uh, Baltimore in the, uh, the SS Corinthia. And, um, and when I arrived in, Corin in, uh, in Baltimore, I arrived simultaneously with the publication of the uh, result of Down syndrome from the French group. They found this extra chromosome in Down syndrome. So I arrived in America just at the time that everybody suddenly was presented with the fact that there, was a, there were abnormalities in chromosomes in certain individuals. And uh, just shortly after that, Pat Jacobs was able to do, was able to look at a patient with Kleinfelter syndrome and were able to show that there was in fact a Y chromosome there, there was two X's and a Y. And so I felt, uh, you know, uh, this, is, this is great, this is what I, I said there would be, and, but I hadn't done it myself. And so um, I got into the cytogenetics that way. So that's how I started in genetics. <clears throat> and of course, I never went back into to general medicine. I, I, left, uh, um, I left pathology several years later and uh, became a medical geneticist, uh, running both uh, uh, diagnostic laboratories and also teaching medical students and uh, uh, having uh, running a clinic in medical genetics and uh, counseling women who had had abnormal children. And, uh, and this fascinating, wonderful uh, uh, area was, was something that I uh, never, never left. And my idea was that uh, at that time uh, nobody believed in uh, that, was anything to, that, that uh, genetics had anything to do with medicine at all. Uh, genetics played no part in medicine whatsoever. Um, when I told my colleagues that I was going to go into medical genetics in the United Kingdom, they said, oh, well, why are you going to do that? There aren't any jobs. There are no jobs for you. So uh, you have to take a risk. And I took a risk and went into a subject where there were no jobs. And um, so uh, I'm, I'm very glad I did. <laughs>